Um, hello guys. Um, okay. So seems like the live feed is working. So um, as you probably seen, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do do live imaging on the date of the twenty first of December. Um, capturing Jupiter and Saturn at the same time. But um, I saw today this uh, comment on Reddit on one of my posts that says uh, it's by a guy called um, Toadfinger. Uh, and he asked if, uh, he said that it would be cool to watch if Saturn's uh, one of Saturn's uh, moons will be eclipsed by Jupiter. And I thought, um, well, first of all, yeah, it will be cool, but um, I don't think so because I think they're too far. Uh, but it is a good um, opportunity to show you this uh, cool uh, planetarium software which is called Stellarium and also uh, run like a very uh, very quick simulation to show you what it will look like on on this date from uh, from my location so first of all about this software it's a pretty uh, amazing software. It, um, it can include uh, really millions of uh, stars. Each of these stars is an actual star in the sky. It's not like uh, just random graphics. These are real stars and uh, I use it a lot to, first of all, to, to know uh, what I'm gonna, uh, to plan ahead what I'm gonna capture when I go to the desert and also I can do uh, use uh, the framing tool to know uh, how my frame will look with a reducer or with a hyper le uh, hyperstar lens, and with of course with uh, which telescope and which camera. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And uh, for example, if I want to capture the Orion Nebula, which I did a couple of days ago, I used uh, my um, my uh, refractor telescope and I use like uh, I, I didn't use any any special lenses but I did use um, I did use my ASI uh, uh, 1600 GT so it's a pretty uh, big sensor so yeah uh, okay yeah so this this was pretty much my uh, frame when I uh, captured Orion. Okay, so back to our business. Let's skip ahead uh, to the 21st of December at about 5 p.m. And okay. And then we we'll look for Jupiter and Saturn, which they're here. As you can see, they're pretty close to the horizon, so I'll probably uh, try to capture them even during uh, daytime at about um, about uh, four, maybe four and a half p.m. Okay, so let's get a bit closer. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is already past the uh, the conjunction. Let's go bit earlier oh no sorry this is uh, before yeah that's yeah because I, I moved to um, to 5 p.m. it jumped a day ahead a uh, day before so let's go uh, forward again yeah okay so um, if we'll look closer at the um, the way the moons are are uh, orbiting the planets, it seems like the moons of Saturn orbit in in this in this plane, and Jupiter in this plane. So, even though they they are getting very close, it doesn't seem like the paths the paths might cross each other. So, if we run this simulation, if we go back in time a bit, and then move forward slowly up until uh, the up until 5 uh, p.m. where the maximum of the 
where the minimum of the distance would be about here so yeah there's no way that Jupiter will ever um, eclipse Saturn this way maybe in a couple of thousands of uh, thousands of years to be even closer and then it might happen but this time uh, other than getting a really cool frame which I can also simulate here so I'll be using uh, I'll be using no lens no Barlow lens I'll be using my uh, C8 telescope which it has uh, 2000 millimeters of focal length and I'll use my ASI 178 so yeah I'll probably uh, use a reducer just uh, to make sure that the, uh, I'll keep everything inside the frame so this will be my frame for this uh, uh, event I'll do uh, probably a time lapse start as I said starting capturing from about 5 uh, from about 4 uh, p.m. up until the, they'll get to the horizon which is I guess at about 6 p.m. yeah more or less okay that's it guys thanks for watching